Auto Reframe in Premiere Pro is a new tool for optimizing video for devices and social platforms. Powered by Adobe Sensei machine learning technology, Auto Reframe dynamically adjusts aspect ratios such as square, vertical, or 16 by 9 video. Manually reframing sequences with multiple video resolutions is tedious and time consuming. With Auto Reframe, you simply drag the effect onto the clips you wish to reframe and it does the work for you, magically keeping the most important content in the frame. You can fine tune the results by telling the algorithm how much movement to expect from the video. Motion keyframes are generated that follow the action in your video content. If needed, you can edit the keyframes so that you always have control over the final result. With complex sequences containing many clips and edits, it may be more efficient to reframe the entire timeline. Select Auto Reframe Sequence in the project panel and choose the aspect ratio you want. A new sequence is generated with reframing applied. Create multiple variations for different platforms or devices. In this example, I'm creating a square video. I choose the faster motion preset since there's a lot of action. Using responsive design in your graphics, you can design titling that automatically repositions for different viewing formats. You can feel confident that each video will look as well-crafted as the original, and viewers won't miss out on the important details no matter where they're watching. Auto Reframe works by generating the motion property keyframes for each video clip. If you have content that's already been manually adjusted, Auto Reframe has a solution that won't overwrite your hard work. Right click on the sequence and choose Auto Reframe Sequence, then choose your aspect ratio. You can toggle clip nesting mode before creating the new sequence. Your video content will be inserted as nested sequences, maintaining your manual adjustments, including the new keyframes, your audio clips, and graphic overlays. Auto Reframe, available now in Premiere Pro.